morning students so today i am going to take one quiz from your chapter number 7 getting to know plants basically 10 questions you will get from this chapter as a quiz and after saying or asking one question you will get four options for the question basically for the answers you will get four options out of the four options you have to choose any one of it and after read out the question you will get 10 seconds time to give your answer afterwards you can see the which option is the right option for that particular question afterwards you can match with your own answer whatever you will think this way out of 10 questions you can check what is your actual marks out of 10 whatever you have got it is 10 out of 10 or 7 or 8 whatever the marks you can check after each and every question at the end of the video you can add up or sum up your all the marks then you can assess yourself what is your current standing about this chapter so first question from this quiz part is which of the following statement is or are correct option a the small green leaves at the base of the flowers are known as sepals option b the young unopened flower is termed as bud option c stamen has two parts called anther and filament option d all the above The right answer is option D. Explanation is here also. Here all the statements are correct. Your answer will be option D. Question number 2. In which of the following statements is or are correct? Option A. Shrubs are medium sized plants with hard and woody stem branching out near the base option b trees are tall and big plants with hard and thick woody stem option c climbers having thin long and weak stem which cannot stand upright but readily climbs up a neighboring support option d all the above right answer is option D explanation here all the statements are correct your answer will be option D next question number three in which of the following statements is or are correct creeper having thin long and weak stem which cannot stand upright and spreads on the ground. Option B. Difference between climbers plants and creepers plant is that climbers have climbing organ like tendril but creeper plants have no such climbing organs. Option C. The part of a plant which is below the ground in soil called root. Option D. All the Ever
your right answer is option D explanation here all the statements are correct hence your answer will be option D next question number four which of the following statement is or are correct option A tap root is a straight tapering root which grows vertically down into the soil option B the fibrous roots spread out the soil and gives a film support to the plant option C stem is the part of a plant which rises vertically up from the ground option D the root of a tree is the strongest part of the tree and it is known as trunk right answer is option option D explanation the stem of a tree is the strongest part of the tree and is also known as trunk most of the tree trunks are covered with a layer called bark bark protects the inner parts of a tree next question number five Read the statements carefully and choose which of the following statement is or are incorrect. You have to think twice. It is incorrect. Option A. The flowers that part of a plant which contains the reproductive organs. Option B. The green leaf like part in the outermost circle of a flowers are called sepals. Option C. The number of petals and sepals in flower is not always equal. Option D. The stamen is the female part of flower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Your answer is option D. Explanation. The stamen is the male part of the flower. The stamen is actually made by the two parts as filaments and an anther. Next, question number 6. Which of the following is not a correct match? Which of the following is not a correct match? Option A. Petiole attaches leaf to stem. Option B. Lamina green flat part of leaf. Option C. Margin gives safe to the leaf. Option D. Veins transpiration. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Your answer is option D. Again, explanation. Veins provide support to the leaf and carry water and dissolve materials to the leaf and food away from the leaf. Transpiration takes place through the minute, minute pores on the surface of a leaf called stomata. Transpiration and evaporation of water from plants next question number seven bojo is writing some statements about herbs shards and trees in which of the following statements is or are incorrect help him option a herbs are non woody plants and they do not grow more than one meter height option b Sunflower, cabbage, ginger, turnip, mustard are the examples of herbs. Option C. 
Sharbs are medium sized plants with a hard and woody stem branching out near the base. Option D. Lemon, tomato, tulsi are the examples of sharps. Your right answer is again option D. Explanation Examples of herbs are tomato, mustard, turnip, radish, rice, cabbage, carrot, ginger, etc. Example of herbs are lemon, henna, pomegranate, china rose, tulsi, croton. Next question number 8. In which of the following statement is or are incorrect? Option A. Tap roots itself is quite thick but its branches are much thinner. Option B. The fibrous roots spread out in the soil but cannot give in firm support to the plant. Option C. Some of the plants store food in their roots that we eat as food. Option D. Carrot, radish, potato are the examples of root. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Your right answer is option B. Explanation, the fibrous roots spread out in the soil and they can give firm support to the plant as tap roots. Roots are referred as anchor of a tree which provide firm and rigid support to the plant in the soil. Next, question number 9. Which of the following is the correct match between the characteristics of stem and the category of plant? Option A. Weak stem which cannot stand upright, creeper. Option B. Green tender stem, sharp. Option C. Thick hard stem which branching near the base, tree. Option D. Thick hard stem with branches high on the plant, Herb. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Your right answer is option A. Explanation Creeper. Creeper is a plant having thin, long and weak stem which cannot stand upright and spreads on the ground. Example, money plant. This is the last question of this quiz. Question number 10. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Option A. Stems absorb water and minerals from the soil. Option B. Stems conduct water from roots to the leaves. Option C. Stems conduct food from roots to the web, roots to various parts of the plant. Option D. None of the above. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your right answer is option B. Explanation. Roots absorb water, fine minerals from the soil, stem conduct food from leaves to the other parts of the plant. So this is the last question and I mean quiz question and its answer. So today up to these students, we will meet again. Thank you very much.